Hey everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some more vintage bag haul and bagging and some items that I picked up at the Antique Mall. Um, start with some bracelets that I picked up. I couldn't resist this one. It's just a tiny bent baby bracelet. I'm not sure what's on it, but I just thought it was so cute. It's a little bent. It's very hard to bend back, but I just loved it. Then there was this one. I love spoon jewelry. And this one was different. It has the, I'm going to say faux scrimshaw on it. It needs to be polished up. But I thought it was pretty unique. Um, they always seem to fit well. And I like how they hug the wrist. So, got that. This is a very pretty brooch. I don't see any marks. It looks like um, a C clasp. Seems like it's pretty old. It's a little bent, but I just thought it had a really nice kind of um, Victorian look to it. Then we have this pendant. Um, I put the chain on there, um, and I love these type of chains, and it's just really, I don't know what you would call it, but uh, Victorian, Art Nouveau, don't know, but I really love it, and that chain. Then we have these coins, which I haven't researched yet. I guess it's, uh, it says Roma something. So I'm assuming it's something with uh, Italy, right? I, I just gravitate toward the coins. I don't know why. Uh, this is a little bit, there we go. I think these are fairly common kind of, uh, Maybe tourist uh, items, right? But they're neat. I don't think it has a date though. I prefer them to be real coins and dated, but I still have to research that and see approximately how old it would be. This one is so adorable. It's painted enamel paint and that's definitely vintage. And even the little connectors are painted with the roses. That's really cute. Delicate and feminine, I like it. And this, I love the style. It's not um, a scarab, which, you know, I like, but still, I do like the style of it. It's got some really nice stones, so. I love that. Then we have another favorite, which is the thermoset. These little leaves and some Aurora Borealis. I'm not sure if this one's marked or not. No, it's very thin, so. No, I don't see any markings on it. It's got some wear, but you wouldn't see it. I believe it has all the stones in it. And I love the color of the leaves. Got that. And we have this brooch, which I think is really beautiful. It's not marked anywhere, but I love the style of the pave um, rhinestones in the little sections. Very classy. I guess it would be weird, weird, worn like this. But honestly, you could wear it any way you want. So I have all that. I always pick up these because they do sell well for me, especially with the older clasps. Um, this is the Damascene with the classic flowers and the bird. And I like the very large ones. My favorite are the ones with any rhinestones in it. 
I love when they have the damascene and the rhinestones. But that does not. I picked up this pendant. I just thought it was neat. Depends on how you turn it. It's got a different look to it. That's the back. And you could just put it on a nice gold chain or even um, kind of the gold collar, you know, the collar ones maybe, um, but it's neat. It's just got the lines in it. And when you move it, it's got a different look to it. It's neat. And this I picked up because I don't know if you remember in the other video, I had the bell trading necklace that was a silver and the turquoise colored. This is not a pendant. It's a um, just a brooch, but it says solid copper, and that bell is for the bell trading post. So this is copper and the turquoise, and I wish it was the pendant because I love that color combination. Love it. Let's do a bag. I have much more to, to show, but I have to kind of space it out so I don't make them, the videos too long because they take forever to load. Ooh, look what I got right here. I got a scarab bracelet with something on it here. Let's say. Long Lone Craft. Oh, that's a new one. I have not had a Lone Craft. Most of the scarabs that I find are not um, are not signed in any way. These stones look like they may be a plastic material. Not in bad shape, though. I'll put that over here. I want to keep it separate. Big clamper out of the way. This clamper looks familiar. I feel like I, oh, it's got some, I think that's just paper. Some goo going would cure that. I don't usually fit the clampers too well on my first. Oh, it fits. The big clamper. This ring going to say means something and I don't know what but it seems like a symbol of some sort maybe somebody knows fashion bug I feel like these this other earring was in another bag and we've got a big tangle and this pendant This little sun necklace. A very stretchy, probably, I guess, um, choker necklace. So this whole big thing is a belt, but it's totally stretched out on the side. Bummer. I don't think you could put it back together. It's way overstretched. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, and it looks like it was glued or something. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's see. This looks like. 18 karat it's some heavy gold electroplated like I would say a size 9 these look like cute little cupcakes or something there's no name on them they're not rubbery but some sort of plastic that look like crazy eyes or cupcakes Pretty butterfly. A big violin. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if this was once a, a brooch. It's big for a brooch, so I do not know. This is so cute. Look at that. Aww. I have a name. Does this say My Lou? M A M Y L U? My Lou? Aww. Has all its little stones on it. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. That's cute. I get angels all the time, but that one's different. This looks like it was part of maybe something for a dress. Cute little um, daisies. This looks like a little bone. Oh, it's actually two brooches. So how would you, I guess you would have to wear it one on the other. Cute. That's a cute one. Ooh, these are nice. It's got some wear in the back, but they're very pretty. A little wear there. Little sweater clippies. That's pretty. Oh, speaking of clips, this is for the um, the gloves. Little screw back earrings that have a CJ. I'm not familiar with that. <clears throat> Little angel pendant. It's cute too. <clears throat> Losing my voice. These feel like glass, and they have the nice, I think, yeah, the hidden little clasp thing there. It's a pretty color. Not really peachy, just kind of like um, like a champagne-y, if that's a word. This, oh. Japan. These are all sewn on here. That'd be nice to wear that. Very pretty. Not bad. These are from the antique shop, not the antique mall. Pretty little cameo pendant. Looks like maybe some genuine stone type necklace stuff that I can't open. Like the bags in the grocery store for the vegetables. Can't lick your fingers. Yeah, these are glass. This is also glass or some sort of stone. These are pretty. Some dangly little beads. I'm gonna say maybe it was handmade. Oh, oh, oh. This is nice. Doesn't appear to have any clasp. I don't see any name, but it's very, very nice and satiny. If you like dangles, it's pretty. Number one teacher. It's a... Why does it look... I'm going to have to open it up. It just looks like it's got nail on it, but I can't be sure. Until I open it. And I can't open it. There I go.
Is it enamel? Is it like painted or is it my imagination? Okay. Holy Spirit, enlighten me. Andrea. Yeah, I think it does have a little bit of enamel on it. It's pretty. Back it up, Sally. Okay. Un... Marked pendant? I read it. So should we go with all this trouble for the unmarked pendant? You never know, right? Some stuff is like... I mean, look at Juliana. Those brooches a lot of times are unmarked. But this is definitely not anything like that. So let's leave it in the bag. Hey, cool. An old dice. Or a die, as one would be called. I would have loved that when I was a kid. Don't know why, but I would have. Oh, blingy ring. I can't wear anything that covers that much of my knuckle. I guess I have short fingers because I have to have mobility, right? Oh, this is pretty. Take bets on it. Oh, I got it open. <laughs> See, I got to be careful, though, because maybe it's in here because it's missing stones and they're in the bag. Needs stones. Oh, bummer. That's such a weird glow to it. I think that says art. Yep, art makes some nice stuff. I just poked myself. Oh, it has those little ballatinis. But those look like they're there. Amazingly. It just needs... What does it need? Oh, there was another little moonstony looking one here. And here. Oh, what a shame. But ooh, that's mesmerizing. I'm gonna put it back in here. I know there's people that like to restore these things and find, you know, what's missing. Or sometimes they just remove certain ones so they can replace the others. I think I have this cat with the little tail. I know I have a mouse like that. Oh, sorry, kitty. That is some poodles. Poodles. Two poodle pins, I think. Two little poodles. Those are cute. They're in good shape. Uh, cross. That's a pretty one. Um, what does it say? Nineteen. 87, I'm going to say. Michelangelo. Little Scotty dog. Made out of some sort of resin. Some sort of old plastic. I have another one like this, but it's like a reddish, a weird reddish color. I think I have it listed on my eBay or Etsy. <laughs> And this one's kind of like um, a root beer-ish. I don't know if he needs to be cleaned or if it's just the way that is. Cute. What is this? Oh, these are earrings. Took me a minute. Like the chain mail. This, I guess, is a pendant or it was attached to something else. Is that a little pendant? This weird bracelet. 
and this charm. Lots of bling. It's cute. This is really cool, too. It's so rough. This would be nice to restore. Very pretty. Um, this is a big woven necklace. Not exactly sure how old it is, but it's got a little hook. It seems very uncomfortable. A little puffed heart. What is this old watch? Does it say Dawn watch? Genevieve, uh, 17 jewel. Hmm, that looks very old. But I can't tell if, tell if that says Dom or Don. Don watch? I'll have to look that up. Never heard of that. Here we have a fierce tiger. Effie collection. Okay. Weird. Alright, I got all that stuff. One of these. With the little stone on it. I think I have one like this. These must have been very popular and mass made, you know, at one point. Because there seemed to be a lot of them around. Might be like a little piece of jade. Not sure. I have a few with different stones. It's cute. It's not bad. Now a few other things from my picks from the antique mall. This beauty, which is not marked, but super pretty. Right? Love that. Then we have this, which was a bit of a disappointment. Because I didn't realize that it was missing a leaf right here. Still beautiful and still cremants. Do I have it upside down? Can you read that? They make beautiful stuff, but I'm a little disappointed. Because it's, it's beautiful, and I would love to um, have it be perfect, but it's missing a leaf. But I still love it. This pretty Damascene. I was told by someone, or I read, that the real Damascene is always prong set like that. You know, the pieces will be prong set. This is a nice piece. I like the different shapes. I love the bird ones, but I'll take that. This I'm in love with. This is enamel. And it's got lavender. It's got the peridot colored stones. And this kind of a burgundy or brown enameling wasn't marked from what I could see. I did not see any marks. I looked at it several times and I wanted to see if there were stones missing. Um, but that's a beautiful leaf. The enamel gets me every time. Plus rhinestones. Done. Love it. Then we have this puzzler. Don't ask me why I bought it. I guess because it intrigued me. I thought it was trying to tell me a, a message. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, it's like when you play, play those games, those online little games, and every spot you go, you have to solve a, a, a puzzle. I mean, what is this? A two? A five? What is this? 
And what is that? What does it all mean? Is it meaning nothing or did somebody just put this together? But this, you know, made by somebody. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. It's just got me interested. And I do not know how to search for that because it's just, it's a mystery. Isn't it weird? Maybe it's something really special. That's why I pick things up that are weird because maybe it's something special. This looks like the kind of like the Tibetan silver sterling. It's not sterling, no. Silver, kind of like you know, along the lines of the alpaca, which is not silver. Um, and some lapis. I just thought it was a really kind of interesting design. What do you think? I still have much more to show. We'll do that tomorrow. I can't believe tomorrow's Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Wow. So thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'll definitely be back with more. Hope you subscribe, like, and keep commenting and share if you if you can. That would be fantastic. I appreciate all of you. Um, pretty much everything's for sale. Um, I haven't had a chance to list much of anything yet, but um, hopefully soon. But if I haven't had it listed and you're interested in it, just let me know. Like all these last items and some at the beginning, you know, those that I buy individually are bought individually, not found in bags. But um, of course, anything that I have shown individually or in the bags, let me know. Um, I'm going to put all that information in the description. Thanks again. Have a good night. Bye.